Hey, I'm Kay and today we are in District 10, Kanglin area in Grange Road in one of the most luxurious areas to stay in in Singapore. We have a 2 bed one bath unit today in a newly TOP condo in Orchard Road. Shall we go check it out? Let's go! 120 Grange is a freehold boutique condo with an exclusive 56 units with unblocked views on both sides of the condo. There are only 4 units on each level which ensures maximum privacy and exclusivity for owners. Before we start, let me share more about the location with you. 120 Grange is very conveniently located. Shopping and dining wise, we are a 1 minute drive away from Orchard Road, the most prime and central shopping district in Singapore. We are only a 2 minutes drive to Great Wall City, a 6 storey shopping mall with offices and service apartments. We are also only about a 4 to 5 minutes drive away from the Dempsey Cluster, Clark Quay, Robertson Quay area, and the central business district where Marina Bay Sands is. When it comes to recreational activities, if you are a nature lover, we are a 3 minutes drive to the Singapore Botanic Gardens and a 6 minutes drive to Fort Canning Park. In terms of public transport, we are a short 6 minutes walk to the newly built Orchard Boulevard MRT, which is just one stop away from Orchard MRT and two stops away from Great Wall City. So location-wise, it is very convenient and well-connected to other prime city locations. Tanglin Mall is about 7 minutes walk away in the same direction and you have a wide array of eateries, cafes and supermarkets. As for the schools nearby, within the 1km radius, we have Alexandra Primary School as well as Chatsworth International School, ISS International School and the Norwegian and Finnish Elementary School. Just slightly outside the 1km radius, we have Crescent Girls School, River Valley Primary School, Ganin Singh Primary School and Eaton House International School, just to name a few. We are also just a 4 minutes drive away to the Singapore Management University. For those who appreciate the country club lifestyle, we have Tangling Golf Course Country Club just down the road as well as the Tangling Club and the American Club. Hi, so here we are on level 2 of this condo. So as you can see, they fitted with a lap pool, full-size lap pool uh, with a fountain feature so it's really nice. You also have a jacuzzi area here, you have a hydro bike area where you can just sit here and lounge and just enjoy the view. So over here to my left, we have an electronic barbecue area where you can host or entertain your friends. So if you do not want to do it at your house, you actually have the option of doing it here. You have a few sitting areas over here and over here as well. So this whole area is actually very nice. So you can host a pool party uh, all day long, host your friends or families. So we are at level 16 and this is the rooftop garden of this condo. There are two of them here. So this is one of it, overlooking a really nice city view. So you can see it's very spacious, you have an 8-seater over here So you can just sit here, chill, relax with your friends or family Overlooking the very beautiful city view To my left also, you can see that there's a bar area and a sink and also a, a barbecue area You can have a barbecue or just you know sit here with your friends And last but not least, this is sheltered So it's very good, you can be here all day long regardless of the weather at the unit, welcome. Uh, as you can see, this unit is fitted with a very modern and minimalistic vibe uh, with very good finishes and this is consistent with the finishes that the developers have built in in this unit. So you can see over here, there is a built-in fridge and a built-in freezer as well as a hood, a hob and an oven. One more thing is that the developer has also built in a washer and dryer over here and all of the cabinets are installed with soft clothing. There's also a very generous countertop space over here so you can put in a bread toaster, microwave oven or even a coffee machine if you like. So on my right, there is this a two-seater dining area. So what you can do is if you want a bigger dining area, you can also have put in an extendable dining table that can fit in four if you have guests over or if you just need to accommodate more people. Otherwise, I think two is also very a very cozy and nice space. At 570 square feet, you have a very generous balcony size over here. This allows you to be creative. You can put in an outdoor furniture over here with some plants or even a coffee table over here so that you can enjoy your morning coffee with the view. 
So what I like about this unit is that you're not looking directly into your neighbor's unit, so you have maximum privacy. Coming into the living room, you can see that the living room is a very decent size. You can put a two-seater sofa over here and you have a very healthy wall-to-wall -wall distance and you can put a TV over here as well. So moving on to the room, you can see that this layout is actually very very efficient. There's no wasted space and there's no long walkway. So you are right directly into your two rooms. So let's go check out the master room. Welcome to the master room of this unit. As you can see here, the owners have fitted in a queen size bed and there's enough space for two side tables as well. And look at this unblocked city and greenery view behind me. Isn't it nice? Imagine waking up to this view every day. So this is possible because of the L-shaped floor to ceiling windows which makes the whole space look so much bigger, larger and also allows so much natural light to come in. Moving on to this common bedroom, as you can see, it's actually very versatile. This is now made into a bedroom with a queen size bed fitted here by the owners. And what you can do is that if you want to make it into a study room, you can put a study table over there. So what I like about this room is that, like the master room, it has a floor to ceiling L-shaped window panes, which allows a lot of natural light to come in. So this makes the whole space very conducive for whatever you make it to be. So here we are at the toilet of this unit. As you can see, there's storage behind the mirror and there's also a drawer here installed with soft clothing. So this toilet is actually uh, very modern, uh, consistent with the vibe that the developers are going for. We have come to the end of the home tour today. If you like what you see, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to show you the place. I'll see you in the next one.